And it came to be after these events that Elohim tried Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. And he said, Take your son now, your only son, Yitzhak, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains which I command you. And Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Yitzhak his son. And he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place which Elohim had commanded him. And on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place from a distance. So Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey, while the boy and I go over there and worship and come back to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Yitzhak his son. And he took, the fi <clears throat> he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and the two of them went together, and Yitzhak spoke to Abraham, his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, See, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, Elohim will provide himself the lamb for a burnt offering. And the two of them went together, and they came to the place which Elohim had commanded him. And Abraham built an altar there, and placed the wood in order. And he bound Yitzhak his son, and laid him on the altar, upon the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. But the messenger of Yahuwah called to him from the heavens, and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. And he said, Do not lay your hand on the boy, nor touch him. For now I know that you fear Elohim, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted his eyes, and looked and saw behind him a ram caught in a bush by its horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the name of the place Yahuwah Yaira, as it is said to this day, Yahuwah provides. <clears throat> On the mountain, Yahuwah provides. And the messenger of Yahuwah called to Abraham a second time from the Shemayim, the heavens, and said, By myself I have sworn, declares Yahuwah, because you have done this, and have not withheld your son, your only son, that I shall certainly bless you, and I shall certainly increase your seed as the stars of the heavens, and as the sand which is on the seashore, and let your seed possess the gate of their enemies. And if your seed, and in your seed, all the nations of the earth, all the races of the earth, shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Then Abraham returned to his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to be after these events that it was reported to Abraham, saying, See, Milcah, too, has borne children to your brother Nacor, Uts, his firstborn, and Buz, his brother, and Kemuel, the father of Aram, and Kesed, and Kazo, and Pildash, and Yitlap, and Bethaul. And Bethaul brought forth Ribka. These eight Milcah bore to Nacor, Abraham's brother, and his concubine, whose name was Riuma, also bore Tibak and Gakam and Takish, and Makkah.